Hello and welcome to this video about question tags. Do you know who this is? Right, it's the famous actor Morgan Freeman. This is a shot from the movie The Shawshank Redemption. Here we see Morgan Freeman saying, we're getting to be kind of friends, aren't we? I want you to think for a moment about the last part of the sentence. What is the purpose of saying, aren't we, at the end of the sentence? And how is it formed? Pause the video for a moment to think about it. Okay, have you got an idea? Right. The purpose of the last part of the sentence is asking for an agreement or confirmation. Morgan wants the other person to confirm that they will indeed be friends. What he's really asking is, am I right? Or don't you think so too? And indeed, the answer is positive. We call this last bit of the sentence a question tag. The way it's formed is by repeating the verb, but opposite, such as positive to negative or negative to positive. In our example, we have a positive statement, so the question tag is negative. Here's an example from the TV series Sherlock, starring Benedict Cumberbatch. Sherlock says, you just couldn't resist, could you? Here we have a negative statement, couldn't resist, and the question tag, could you, is positive. So he expects agreement with the negative statement, and the answer would be, no, he couldn't. Note that we use the auxiliary could for the question tag. So if there is an auxiliary in the sentence, other possibilities are can, will, have, etc., then we repeat the auxiliary. Here's yet another example. In chapter 15 of the seventh Harry Potter book, Hermione says, but Voldemort didn't get the job at Hogwarts, did he? Again, a negative statement with a positive question tag. In this case, we use the form of to do because it is the auxiliary in the main phrase. But we also use to do when there is no auxiliary, but only a main verb, such as in this case. Joe Biden became president in 2021, didn't he? Now, do you know who this is? Right, it's the famous actor Leonardo DiCaprio. This is from the movie Inception. Perhaps you've already watched it on Netflix. Here we see uh, Mr. DiCaprio saying, that's not true at all, is it? Here, yeah, to be is the only verb in the sentence, so we repeat the form of to be in the question tag. Let's quickly sum up the rules we've just seen. A positive statement takes a negative question tag, and then you expect a positive answer. For example, we're getting to be kind of friends, aren't we? We use a question tag to ask for agreement or confirmation. A negative statement takes a positive question tag, and then you expect a negative answer. For example, you just couldn't resist it, could you? This sentence is also a good example of the rule that if there is an auxiliary, can, could, will, would, have, etc., then you repeat the auxiliary in the question tag. If there is only a main verb without an auxiliary, then you use a form of to do. For example, Joe Biden became president in 2021, didn't he? And if to be is the only verb in the sentence, then you use a form of to be in the question tag. For example, that's not true at all, is it? Well, that was it. Thanks for watching.